Now we've started working with prisms. Let's look at the rectangular-based prism, and we would like to find both its lateral area and its surface area. For this particular rectangular-based prism, let's work with these dimensions. Let the length be 4 inches, the width be 6 inches, and the height be 10 inches. The length and width are referring to the base. Lateral area is equal to the length plus the width plus the length plus the width multiplied by the height. In other words, the lateral area is the perimeter of the base multiplied by the height of the overall prism. So when I substitute in my variables, lateral area is equal to 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6. Take that sum and multiply by 10. 4 plus 6 and 4 plus 6 is 20. So now I want to multiply 20 by 10, and I get 200 inches squared. Remember, lateral area is still area, so it's units squared, in this case, inches squared. Surface area is the lateral area plus twice the area of the base. Remember, that's what big B stands for, the area of the base. Well, we found our lateral area to be 200, so I plug that in. And to find the area of the base, we do length times width. So I'm going to plug in the 4 and the 6 from the given values. 4 multiplied by 6 is 24. When I double that, I get 48. So 200 plus 48 is 248 inches squared. And again, LA stands for lateral area. SA stands for surface area. Lateral area is when we're trying to say paint the walls of a room. Surface area is when we're covering all of the surfaces, kind of like wrapping a present.